Hi, this is Marty Hampton from Moving Raleigh Podcast on Marty Hampton Radio. And folks, this is a podcast for anyone that's interested in real estate. They want to own it, they want to buy it, they want to sell it or invest in it or just keep up with what's happening in the triangle real estate market. And today I want to answer a question that I received. And the question was, what is the difference between open door versus traditional marketing? And before I get into that, let me opine for a minute. Since I know for certain that all real estate agents are not alike, nor do they offer the same services or marketing. I don't want to begin with a false premise. So let me just tell you what I know about Open Door, OfferPad, any instant offer company. Let me give you a little bit of background. The background is that these companies have large venture capital, Wall Street companies, They have access to so much money. Over 50% of their money, I've heard, comes from overseas investors. That's just a little trivia. The the real thing is that they have big money to do great data and analytics. And in North Carolina, they've focused only on the Charlotte and the raleigh Cary market. And uh, think about that. They've invested all this money, and what they've found out is that our local homeowners have more equity than average in their home. And this tells you two things. Number one, it tells you it's a strong flip market for them so they can come in, buy your home, resell the home, and make a profit. The second thing it tells you is that many homeowners don't know how strong their home equity position is. And this means they go online, they see an instant offer, a guaranteed offer, a quick offer that sounds reasonable or even good to them, and they sign up. Here's what I want you to remember. If an online offer sounds too good to be true, think danger. I need a second opinion. If you hear an ad that says, this will be so easy because there will be no showings, you should be thinking, no showings means no competition for my home, and that means I'll leave money on the table. And when you hear they'll move you for free, I want you to think that you gave them so much equity when you sold them your home that they could move you and 10 of your friends for free. When you hear they'll close in 21 days, think that fast sale, I want you to think fire sale. If you're ready to start a fire on your home's equity, there's more than one buyer out there that wants to buy it. I've honestly had a little bit of fun poking um, at some open door, open door billboards lately. They, uh, on a billboard that's uh, over at North Hills, they show a paintbrush, and then they show, on the other side, they show a champagne glass, and next to the paintbrush, they say, that's the old way. And next to the champagne glass, they said, celebrate with Open Door, the new way to sell your house. Well, here's my advice. Find out how much that glass of champagne is going to cost you because, folks, it's not cheap. We just closed on a home that Open Door and made an offer on, and we netted that seller $6,500 more at his closings. And the moral to my story is when you get a second opinion, Uh, That's a wise thing to do. You can certainly call our team to get a second opinion, and we'll tell you the truth about your home's value, even if you don't want to paint it. We will still sell it for a lot more. And that's it for me today on Moving Raleigh Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and send me your questions. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.